Ass kicking round two. Uh, in the case of the argument, Gore and climatologists are offering individual cases that have led to the more general conclusion of carbon dioxide relating to the Earth's temperature. Yes, all of the world's geophysicists. And by the way, Al Gore. I still don't get that. Have concluded that when you increase Earth's temperature, atmospheric carbon dioxide increases because the ocean releases it, among other things, like the biosphere and the hydrosphere, not just the ocean. When you cool the planet, atmospheric carbon dioxide decreases. When you add carbon dioxide, the planet warms. When you remove carbon dioxide, if we can, the planet will cool. This is a coin. This is a gold coin. I haven't reported it to the IRS yet, nor the 263 other ones that I found. But, tails, heads. You can think of the coin as the world's climate system as it refers to atmospheric carbon dioxide. Climatologists have concluded, heads, if you warm the planet, the oceans will release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. That will, in addition, cause more warming. If the planet cools, you will get less atmospheric carbon dioxide because the oceans will take in some of that. The biosphere will take in some of that. That's one side of the coin. The other side of the coin. If you add carbon dioxide to Earth's atmosphere, the planet will warm. If you somehow remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, the planet will cool. What you have done is you have taken that coin where the climatologists state it has heads and tails. Al Gore, I have no idea why you even mention him, but Al Gore, heads and tails, he agrees also. What you have done, you are saying Al Gore only talks about the heads. Climatologists only talk about the tails. Both groups, Al Gore and the world geophysicists, talk about both sides. You are saying, oh, Al Gore is only talking about heads, and climatologists are only talking about tails. Therefore, they are not in agreement. You are doing this deliberately to deceive us. Why? Um, to use this to use the Socratic five-step method of uh, combining inductive and deductive analysis to the argument first. Please, if you would, take your philosophical semantics, fold it into a triangle with sharp angles, and insert it up your anus, into the anal canal, up into the rectum, until you get a tight, uncomfortable fit. Then, if you would be so kind, sit on it. The question must be determined uh, in this case, is global warming a legitimate threat to our Earth or humans? All of the world's experts on the subject have already weighed in on that issue. For the past 25 years or so, they have concluded human-caused climate change is a threat to national security, United States, and global security, not just in the future, but right now. For example, International Trade Administration has stated that trade has been and will continue to be disrupted due to human-caused climate change. Moving goods and services around, costing more for those goods and services, human-caused climate change has had a serious impact on that. And that impact will increase. Nobody thinks it will not out there. All of these experts in the subject have concluded that not just recently but for at least 25 years department of defense the pentagon has stated human caused climate change is already a national security threat not just the united states nationally internationally as well Department of Energy, Department of Health and Human Services, National Institute of Health, Department of the Interior, the Department of State, United States Agency for International Development, Aid to Other Countries, 
Other countries are taking a hell of a beating from human-caused climate change right now. And everybody agrees it will be getting worse. Department of Transportation, infrastructure throughout the world is taking a hell of a beating due to human-caused climate change. This is increasing the expense of moving shit around. The, the Environmental Protection Agency, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, National Science Foundation, and the Centers for Disease Control. Diseases are moving northward along with their vectors, their hosts and their vectors, uh, mice, bats, rats, varmints, they're all moving from like Central America, moving northward into the United States. Center for Disease Control has been issuing updates and warnings for at least 16 years or so regarding human-caused climate change and what that is doing to the spread of diseases. The diseases are no longer staying where it was used to be like Central America and the jungles and shit like that. They're all moving northward. Leishmaniasis, for example. Vampire bats, for example. I have an article here. Vampire bats moving northward into the United States, and they have started they have started feeding on human beings. Because what they do is they check the bat shit and they hey, there's human blood in this fucking bat shit. <laughs> It is already a security issue. Internationally, it is a threat to everyone. Not in the future, right now. And you sit there in your living room or your mother's basement or wherever the hell you are and say, oh golly, I wonder if it's gonna be a threat. You know, that's still being debated. No, it is not. Instead of looking this up, you decided to watch a YouTube video. Golly, that is just so much easier than learning about the subject. Uh, within their examples, uh, both sides claim carbon dioxide is related to their temperature. By both sides, you mean the one side. Al Gore and the world's geophysicist all have concluded the same thing. Easy generalization there. So the fourth step is understanding the significance of that identification. So to understand the significance of carbon dioxide is to understand both sides of the argument explaining carbon dioxide as either the cause or effect of temperature change. Yes, and all of the world's experts and Al Gore agree. It's both. Um, so carbon dioxide is definitely the significant uh, factor in this argument. What argument? Al Gore. And all of the world's geophysicists on the subject of human-caused climate change are in agreement. Uh, the final step is to apply the understood significance to a universal conclusion. And in this case, again, uh, carbon dioxide is related to the Earth's temperature. Yes, and Earth's temperature is related to atmospheric carbon dioxide. We even know why to the quantum level. Um, so we know Earth's, so we know carbon dioxide levels can affect the Earth's temperature, um, but the debate has not been resolved in regard to the source of rising levels, which have fluctuated over the course of millions of years. No, that issue is no longer being debated. That issue was debated for about 180 years. Scientists no longer debate the issue of where the additional atmospheric carbon dioxide has come from and is coming from. We all know where it is coming from. You know, human beings. Um, even if Al Gore is correct. You mean if all of the world's geophysicists are correct, which, by the way, Al Gore agrees with. Um, and not this select group of climatologists. Do some research on your own, and you'll see what the actual main cause of carbon dioxide polluters is today. Yes, and all of the world's experts have already concluded where the additional atmospheric carbon dioxide has come from and is coming from. And Al Gore agrees with them. Let me know what you believe the real uh, cause of climate change is. Uh, no, I refuse to believe anything on the subject. I refuse to believe that humans have caused and are causing climate change. 
I refuse to believe that humans are not causing or have caused climate change. I refuse to believe. We have the evidence. We know who is causing it, why, and how. It's us.